Hello everyone. In the last segment you saw me masking these with Silly Putty. Pretty obvious I didn't paint them. I decided to paint them by hand. The base paint is um, Alclad. I've got a Tamiya acrylic here. And to be honest with you, as long as I get this on here right the first time, it won't matter. Okay? So I'm going to just paint them by hand. I've been trying to do everything with airbrush. And a couple of you said, you don't need to do everything with airbrush. You can do some hand painting too. And the funny thing is, that's how I started painting models. I used to do everything by hand. And I got really good at it. And then I went away from the hobby for 15, 20 years. And then I came back and I couldn't find any good brush paints. I'm learning that there are some good ones out there. Vallejo, for instance, and there's a few others. I've got a couple of people recommending I try the new paints by Badger. Tabletop painting, 101, that's you. The one comes to mind. And that's not an accusation. I'm going to go look and see. You know, part of this channel is me trying things so you guys don't have to. So I'm going to try some of those paint paints just to see how things work. Okay? But let me get going on this while we talk. Um, I should order some. In fact, I think I got some red Vallejo paints. And I probably could do this with those Vallejo paints. Yeah, this is going to be a mess. No, it's not too bad. Um, one of the things I should be concerned with is the all clad paints. They are lacquer based. Tamiya paints are lacquer based. But some of you didn't know that. They're not a true acrylic. Yes, they thin with water. But to be a true acrylic paint, okay, um, you could put different layers on top of each other. You cannot do that with Tamiya paints. That property is a lacquer based property. In other words, lacquer paints tend to loosen the layer beneath. It's not going to focus about my hand there. Lacquer paints tend to um, loosen the layer beneath when you put a new layer on top. Acrylics don't do that because they have binders to prevent that. So to me it's not a true um, acrylic. Now, you want proof of that, get some lacquer thinner, mix it with something like Vallejo paint, or even those craft paints you buy, like Apple Barrel, at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or something along those lines, and see what happens. Put some lacquer thinner in them, and they're just going to gum up. I did that with Vallejo the first time. I put some lacquer thinner on my Vallejo, not lacquer thinner, some alcohol. On my Vallejo, oh, oh, oh boy, was that a mistake. Made a big gooey mess inside the airbrush. So, that tells me right there, you can mix, al you can mix alcohol with Tamiya paints as a thinner, and it will work. In fact, I use alcohol to strip Tamiya paints off all the time. Okay? So, to me, paints are not really an acrylic. They call themselves an acrylic, but they're like a lacquer acrylic hybrid. And to me, it sells lacquer thinner for their paint. And that should tell you something. That one's just a teeny bit off. It's not bad. All the way to the end. There we go. So that should tell you something. <laughs> that um, this is not really an acrylic. Sure it cleans up with water like an acrylic. Once it cures, it is still water soluble when it cures, but it's not quite a true acrylic. Okay, I'm rambling right now. I'm sure you guys don't need to hear my ramble on that. Just thought you might like to know my thoughts on the um, Tamiya paints. They're not truly an acrylic. Because they thin with some strange stuff at times. They will thin with things you don't think they should thin with, essentially. 
little bit more on this one. There we go. I got all the brake calipers painted. So, I'm painting the brake calipers close to the color of the car. We'll check that in a second. And this is a throwaway paintbrush, so if I screw up the paintbrush, I don't care. I'm not using my best one for this. This is good enough. Because it doesn't have to be clean. And I got some paint on my finger. But anyhow, enough rambling. I'll show you one of these up close, just so you can see. Okay, and you can see that brake rotor, and you can see the nice shine on it. It looks really, really good to me. Now I can clear coat that and be ready for assembly. And I'm going to have some fun assembly, because i got some ideas in mind here that don't match the directions. So... That's going to be fun. i got to check a couple other things. But I'm almost to the point where I can put the suspension together and the engine together and just detail out the engine. And it just leaves me the interior. Let's check on the body of the car one more time because I've forgotten what color I painted it. I know it was a metallic red. And I just want to look at it one more time. Because I'm about to clear coat this. So here's the body of the car up close. You can see the shine on that. You can see that most of the, all the detail is... Oh, that is not something you want to do because I've not sealed up the pot, the paint. Here's a good check to see how well I did with the details on the back. If I got too much paint on there, the Honda symbol is still there and all the little panel lines are still there. I was worried that I got too much paint too thick of a primer on it, but I don't think I did. Okay, it's a nice shiny color. I mean, way better than I had. I'm happy with that. There's no orange peel on this. A little polishing and a clear coat, and that is going to be beautiful. You can tell I got three light bulbs up there by looking at that reflection right there. Okay, I've got the hood painted too. Now, some of those imperfections is the type paint I used. Okay? Oh, time for me to quit for a moment. I'll be back. Sorry, everyone. Someone interrupted me. Um, it was important, so I had to go take care of it. Anyhow, I was showing you the paint on the cars. All right? And I just took this to the wife, and she says everything's fine. So... I'm going to seal this up in a Tupperware, and not Tupperware, a Ziploc box. It's pretty much airtight. I've already done the smell test. You put the parts to your nose and you smell them. Nothing. I smell nothing. That means that paint is cured. Okay? And I'm about to clear coat it. And I'm trying to think about clear coating it. And i got to polish this thing. And I ordered the Tamiya polish a while back, two weeks ago. It's on back order. I may not get it for three or four weeks, which means contest might be over by the time I get it. So I might have to resort to just using car polish. I'm shaking up some all-clad paint because I'm going to paint the um, catalytic converter and a few other parts tonight. And that paint's got to be shaken. I'm also going to clear coat a few things, so I need to do that too. The Mercury 9's getting some work too. So I've got about three or four different colors of paint to deal with tonight. And some touch-ups on the Mercury 9. Now I'm going to clear coat a bunch of stuff on it so that it doesn't get damaged anymore. Anyhow, I'm going to go. I hear cats jumping gates, so I'm about to be invaded by two or three of them. That's the fun part. I'll talk to you later. All right, now, on the back of this, holding this part on, is poster tack. Um, yellow tack, blue tack. I've heard people call it both things. It's a little bit like Silly Putty. In fact, I've seen people use it like Silly Putty. You can mask parts with it. It's stickier than Silly Putty. I couldn't do what I'm doing right here with Silly Putty. So I'm going to use it primarily to stick parts to trees for spraying. This needs some more colors. It's not done yet. I missed a couple of spots, and there's some white showing through where I primed it. Um, so this is getting painted. But the point I wanted to say is Yellow Tack works really good for that. Also, um, I got interrupted in that last segment. 
but the car body is done. I took it to the wife. She went over it with her keen eye. She said everything's fine. So it's ready for clear coat. I ordered the Tamiya polish. It's not come in yet. In fact, they tell me it's got another two, three weeks. It's almost May, so it may not come in in time for them to the contest. So I might just go about polishing it with some car polish, okay? Which means I need to go look up car polish for models use. That's okay. Not a huge deal. All right, I'll get it taken care of one way or another. Anyhow, I'll be back in a little while. Wow, tired. Have a good one. You know what I call that? The Cylon Eye Scanner. <laughs> All right, speaking of Honda. Yeah, you can tell I've been doing a lot of painting. That was clean two weeks ago. I put some aqua gloss clear on the ends of the uh, brake calipers. I need to do some streaking on that, so I'm going to do that in a moment. And then I'm quitting for the night. In fact, some of that aqua gloss clear is just still not quite dry. Aqua Gloss Clear is Alclad paint. It is an acrylic, as far as I can tell. Hard to tell with their paint. Some, sometimes you think they're acrylics and sometimes they're lacquers. Just can't tell. I'm done with the exhaust. There's a teeny bit of overspray in a few places where I mix my colors, but that's on the underside where it does not matter. This exhaust pipe's done. The catalytic converter needs a teeny bit of work and so do the exhaust pipes themselves, the tips. They need some work, but other than that, that's pretty much done. This was the last suspension part that needed paint. So now the suspension parts are pretty much done, so I can start putting that together. The engine's pretty much done. It's, it's ready to start getting together. It's gonna leave me the interior, and I gotta do some more work on the body. Anyhow, shot of the Mercury 9. I'm quitting for the night. I will talk to you guys later.